All right, have and have not fans, here is the video where I go into my predictions for the season finale. And honestly, I, I, I'm not saying that it's going to be a bad episode when I say this, but I don't think there's much to say that either has been already said in one of my previous videos or things that you may have already speculated because off the preview itself, and again, here's the trend of the haves and the have nots where each episode may have about three to four different scenes where we have various characters talking with each other and i'm quite surprised yet pleased that we're finally getting to the day where people are going to court and um wow i, I can't believe it took this long to get here but we're finally here because we get to the point where veronica's there and of course uh, justin's wife is going to be the judge running against you know running the trial and the looming cloud of vengeance so to speak is the or blackmail is the video veronica has exposing justin for being gay being in her son's room you know unclothed as well as his badge number and everything to confirm that's him and that was her ticket to get it pretty much her black sedan if you will to get uh, jeffrey to come down to the court and it looks like based off the preview itself, we're just kind of picking up where we left off in the previous episode. Again, fantastic episode in regards to um, the young family at the funeral home scene. And I, I've talked about this in other videos, but I feel like, you know, it, the scene might end when Catherine eventually shows up. Candace is probably going to have a few words in regards to, oh, you, so you want to pay for my son's funeral? And then she walks off with Catherine looking a little upset. And I was speculating that uh, I was speculating that Candace would go to Jim to get the money for the funeral based off the preview. But looking closely, it looks like, you know, Candace is going back to her hotel room. Jim catches her in the hallway, decides to go up for her and talk. And this is something that uh, some people were, I believe, another, again, have to have nots have been doing a lot of things differently in the past season, season and a half, where they just release like, you know, 60 or like 45 second clips of the episode on their Facebook page. And it shows Jim at the door just talking to Candace about, you miss me. And it's like, hey, my door, it, the, key is, the key, it works. Um, if you want to go to bed, hey, you just go to your room. But if you don't want to sleep, come down to my room because you still owe me a lot of sex. And people are like, oh, Jim, go away. What are you doing? This is annoying. Now, even though it is a bit, quote unquote, boring, as some people put it, you have to remember that the way that Jim's acting now towards Candace Candace was doing the same thing when she was uh, sash, uh, what's the word, sash, sashaying herself around Jim during Amanda's death because a lot of people are pissed off with Jim. It's like, Jim, come on, you're tired. Can't, uh, Catherine doesn't want you. You house burnt down. She's putting in for a divorce. Uh, you just got out of jail. Now you got the whole Jennifer thing looming over your head. Nobody cares about you, Jim. And honestly, after he got out of jail, you know, things have not been going well, especially with Mama Rose leaving him. And as he told David, it's like, all we have left without Mama Rose is just our knowledge of the law. <laughs> it's crazy to think that that's so insignificant considering everything that they uh, have done so far. But honestly, it is a bit tired for Jim to be doing that. But at the same time, Candace was doing the exact same thing after Amanda died. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the last time that Jim and Candace actually saw each other, I did, oh, excuse me, actually, let me rephrase that. When Candace popped up at the cemetery after they had buried Amanda, you know, Jim and Catherine were there as well as David and Veronica, that was probably, and again, I could be wrong, but I think that was the first time those two had seen each other eye to eye since Amanda was killed because remember that you know it's like hey I need to go talk to Jim and that's when uh Maggie and David worked together to give I believe it was Candace an interview at like a law firm in town and she's like hey if you give me this paperwork and set up the interview then I'll, I'll leave Jim alone and a lot of people found that annoying remember that was during the time where you know Candace was at the Sarandon and everything and you know sitting in the bar a lot that's when she had interactions with David and Maggie and you know Candace was, and again, I, I remember back when I was blogging, of course, people were like, oh, Candace is pissing me off. All she does is just relate everything to sex, you know, trying to push up on David and then talking to Max like, I, I don't do girls. And it's just, it was so stupid. And then her uh, getting in front of Jim, trying to flirt and everything at the girl's funeral. And then, of course, coming over to the crier house when she was invited by Catherine, which we know was part of a bigger plan, of course, to get revenge. Uh, well, actually not revenge, but get information out of Candace about Amanda's death. 
And then even then she's like, hey, remember this room? It's like, I remember we broke in this couch together, Jim. So when people say that Jim is tired and it's ridiculous, remember that, and she just lost her son, remember that Candace was doing the exact same thing to Jim after Amanda died. So those two, I feel like this scene might feel a bit redundant to most, but I feel that it's important because I feel like seeing those two together in the season finale is a great way of wrapping things together in terms of everything that's happened thus far in the series is a result of these two, guess what, meeting up at a hotel room. So I feel like that's great. I feel like that'll be an interesting scene for the episode, in my opinion. Now, aside from, you know, Jim and Candace, as well as the finale, so to speak, at the funeral home, and honestly, I'm not really going to go into it here because I went into great detail in another video, breaking down a funeral home scene, as well as Candace's outrage, talking about how she wishes that her mom was you know, hey, you're going to be in a wooden box on fire and I want to spit at your unmarked grave. And then Hannah summed it up in one sentence. You just predicted your own funeral. And again, I went into detail in another video, so I'm really not going to go into it here. But I just feel like the main theme of this uh, episode is going to be the finale at the funeral home. Candace going back to her hotel after the aftermath of that meeting up with Jim. Uh, then, of course, we're going to have Justin and Jeffrey uh, meeting up well, excuse me, still in the uh, hotel room talking with Jeffrey, just trying to get Justin to understand the seriousness of the situation that, hey, my mom isn't playing around when she says she's going to, you know, expose you. And I feel that that's going to lead up, of course, to the next morning when they're at the uh, courthouse. It looks like based off what um, Veronica says outside the elevator, it's like you're going to jail today, boy that they might be meeting up at the elevator to go up to the floor where the you know trial is going to take place and that's when justin's going to grab her by the arm and again that leads to veronica in the courtroom just talking and says i have another witness and she turns around and we see uh jeffrey and justin in the back so that could lead to the um i guess you could say car wreck itself because everybody's speculating that it's somebody like hey maybe it's veronica in that car or justin or justin's wife but Honestly, I've, as I said in my other video, I feel like it's Melissa based off the scene. We see her just sitting in her room. It looks like she's just done with life. Her wrists are wrapped up. Her lunch is sitting on a little tray there. And based off Veronica, it looks like she might be stopping by before she goes to the courtroom. So she could be standing there and more like, oh, I see you. Well, I don't know. Maybe she'll be addressing the sheets because she might be looking closely and say, oh, there's a stain left or something like that. And then Melissa's just all done. And wow, I mean, honestly, aside from Wyatt making out with Anna and looking at the entire preview again, because I'm actually watching it while I'm uh, recording, the only other relevant scene that I can think of is two things, and they have to do with uh, Candace at the hotel. Uh, number one, it looks like she's sitting at a table, and again, this is after the aftermath aftermath of the funeral home veronica comes out of nowhere saying i need you so i'm just like okay this is interesting and then the other scene is when she looks to be drug out of the hotel bar by a police officer so this could i don't know maybe she gets arrested before the actual uh i guess you could say trial but given the fact that the lighting of the room seems to suggest this is at nighttime. So maybe, just maybe, if this car wreck is the end of the episode, you know, like the cliffhanger ending, which it looks like it's daylight uh, based off the background, there are evening, and Candace gets arrested, could she be arrested, like, right after the trial? Because remember, Veronica said, uh, well, you're going to somebody, well, you're going to jail today, boy, or, you know, somebody's going to jail today, so... I don't know because I even did a, another video about Candace in regards to maybe with her being outraged at her family. She might let Benny take the fall after all for the murder of Quincy so she could be with Charles because she's really pretty much done with Benny and Hannah. Some people have been telling me, oh, maybe she's going to get Hannah to take the fall. It wouldn't make sense in my opinion because Hannah does have alibis. Remember, she was staying at that hotel with Quincy Jr. at the time in which Quincy was being killed. Uh, not to mention, you know, she could have like her receipts and whatnot from that. So I don't think Hannah's going to be the one to go to jail. I feel like she might turn in Benny. But another big question is, you know, what about Oscar? Is he going to show up? He hasn't been in a few episodes. So honestly, I, 
I want this to be a great episode. It looks like it's good based off the preview, but we've learned time and time again with the show that looks are not everything. Like the preview could look awesome, but the preview will be the only thing awesome about the episode where, okay, the two good scenes about the preview are like the only two good scenes about the episode. And honestly, there have been times, I feel like season two is a prime example when Amanda shot herself where the episode before the finale was actually better than the finale itself. But, uh, and again, I can count on one hand about how many episodes of this season I actually feel were pretty great. So with that being said, I feel like this episode does have a lot to live up to, especially after the cliffhanger ending of last week. So with that being said, these are my thoughts, predictions on the season finale, the Veronica show. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll talk to you again soon.